Shut up and sit down. Hey, you scallywags! Today, we've got the Oathreest part of our own Knight's Legion Mecha Cavalry review! And here to help us is this lass from the own Knight's Legion. Oh, hey there, Skelly! Um, I think you're gonna have to go ahead, because I'm gonna have to spend a bit of time doing my face! Oh, yes, no problem, Captain Plane. You do your face, then, uh, we'll catch up with me later. Hey you skellywags, today we're looking at this guy, the O Knights Legion, Mecha Cavalry Sergeant Major, the third part in the series. So here's the box, pretty much uh, the same as the others, except for some writing and uh, artwork. Here he is, Sergeant Major himself. So, crack open the box. And uh, it's slightly different to the others in that it's got a few more accessories. Here's the paperwork with the usual stuff here. And let's open up the figure. Here he is. Oh, we'll take a look at him in just a moment. Just the stand up test. Oh. Hey there, sleepy skelly. Hello there, Sergeant Major O3. Hello. Describe Sacre bleu. My wicked thoughts were uh, of a happy place. And I find myself face to face with a monster. Let me guess, you want us to change it to something more comfortable. Here's a lovely stand for this guy. Gun, mask, helmet, and then this um, crate of stuff. Right, so here's everything all laid out, including stuff taken off, and he's got quite the wealth of extras. Extras, this fella. Here we go with the uh, Monsieur. He's got a scar on his uh, right side there, on his face. Interesting. It's a cool little detail. And there's a... Uh, doesn't look like he does too much exercise. Bit of a pigeon kind of chest. Thin waist. Yeah, I think the um, bottom trouser bits are very similar to the other guy. Except for the armouring pieces. Ooh, some uh, detail and weathering there on the back. So articulation. His head and neck move. So you've got... Here, look, this thing is quite rubbery ish. Pop that in, he can go down like that, can go up with the help of his neck, like that. There you go. And he can obviously turn all the way around. His arm can go up, it looks like it just sticks there, but you can actually push it a bit further on both sides. Twist there, and he can go up like that, but you might want to. Bring it down there, and then up, and there's a little bit more. So that goes all the way down, oh my arm! And this goes all the way around. Different coloured joint for the new wrist part he's got there, you can see. Same on the other side. And he's got the movement up here, the body bit, which is a bit stiffer than normal. This pigeon chest doesn't help, I don't think. Oh, he's got the ducky ducky as well, the neck there. And you can twist his uh, waist all the way back there. Yep, and you can see what's inside. And what's in his backside too. Right, so Jean-Claude. Ooh, mon ami. Très bien. Look at those. Oh, nice. Très bien, All the way up there. The leg going backwards, not as good as the, the lady ones because of the way it's molded. Here goes up, didn't have to change anything for, for any of these ones, so they're actually okay. And how it's armoured as well, new knees as well. 
and this was able to move. I didn't have to do anything to help it move either. It was actually uh, all right to move around all the way. And there, two toe. So, mask. It details just like the Hell's Fifth Company mask. Um, but a bit of blue there. And let's just try this on his head without anything else on. Yeah, doesn't look too bad. Uh, I'll move it with the neck without the scarf. Chicken neck though. Get off. And let's pop his head off. And that. Let's put this vest on first. I like this vest actually. Looks uh, quite good. Again, Hell's Fifth Company vest repainted from one of them. And the body, just put that in there. Rest it in there for now. And then we'll get on the belt. This thing here. Put it on the waist. Like details there. Pop it on here. And then get him on there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Then all you need to do is strap these back in. Which are actually very easy. And there. Good. Just adjust it. His head back on. Looks alright like that. There's the back. Secondary open hands here. Fists. Uh, extra parts for the wrists. And one extra part, I think, for the foot thing. Pretty random. Pop out. Put this in. Shoulder. There you go. All the way up. And the forearm part. This goes in. And we seal it with the hand. Ah. See? Same as the other side. This back on. And that forearm bit. And hand again. Easy peasy. Let's try the hair Hel helmet on now without the scarf. Looks alright, but I think the scarf just does something. That little. There we go. Pop it. The neck bit. And in there. Alright. There you go. Hello. Looks really good. So here is the pistol. This is not a good gun. I don't like it. Putting it in the hand is a pain. The Hammer of Steel Brothers have got this. And yeah, let's just pop it on there for now anyway. So with the assault rifle gun thing he's got here. It's, I think, yeah, this fits better than the other guy, um, Commander. Still not great. At least he's got this hand bit here to help, help hold it. Uh, as you can see, oh, just come off the other hand. Not ideal. Let's just try the other hand on it, see if that would hold it any better, which looks like it might do. Yep, okay, let's put that on him instead. That should work out. Right, so now that hand is on, we'll get it on there. Oh yeah, he holds that very well now. Let's get him in a pose. Nice little shooty pose there. Look at tree, stand and shoot pose. Look down the sights. Yeah, there you go. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Holds it better than the other guy. Here is the thing put over his shoulder. Just not fitting in there. The other guy, the bit there was bigger so you can fit that belt in. This one you can't. Mm, just gonna put him put it on him because I think you could actually just store the gun on the back um, without putting that through. Let's try that. Pop it, and there you go, and yeah, whoa, that's really nice, Let's put his helmet on, complete the look, yeah, 
Look at that. Let's uh, compare with this guy. So this guy's wearing other stuff, but I've still got the gun the same way. That, which he can't hold properly, is on his back like that. Let's compare the two. Awesome. Now here's the crates. So there was the, the little accessories in there, and bits and that. Let's open it up. And pop these in. Close it like that. The stand. The nice, classy stand there. Let's stand him up. You can hold his uh, suitcase of hands and spare wrist parts. There. Mm. Can you smell that? That uh, the smell is like home. Mm. Smells like sweat and balls to me, but how do you like my new look, eh? Quite swank, don't you think? Hmm? 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 Oh, très bien, mon ami. Très bien. I do like your suit. It is like the rock and roll angel of death has finally come for my soul. Wow, that sounds rather poetic in a conversation I'd like to have, but over here, we have a last- Oh, hey, Jean-Paul. It's me. Captain Jane, Jane Plane, I've been looking for you and the old knights to get together again. Unfortunately, our friend Raoul is not here with mm -hmm. us. Well, we must do something about it. We cannot not give the audience what they deserve. A picture and poses with all three of us. On this, I shall promise you merci. If my name is not Jean-Paul du Omelette Fromage. <laughs> Finally, the Onan's Legion are together again. It is time for me to make my dramatic entrance. Just like and subscribe to see this in another episode.